Today, we will continue talking about the DSCSA 2023 regulations. I'm Kelly Schneider, Senior Project Manager with Vantage. I'm here with Brittany Santiago, Product Marketing Manager from Systec. Welcome. Uh, what recommendations do you have for your customers facing the DSCSA 2023 regulation? I think we have to start with aggregation, right? It's such a hot topic right now, and it's really crucial for that 2023 deadline. If you're not currently aggregating, you know, reach out to us as soon as possible so we can guide you through the process. But um, especially when dealing with wholesale distributors, we know that some of them have stated past November 2023, they won't accept product without that aggregation data, just simply due to the volume of product that they're accepting on a day-to-day -day basis so that they can continue to run efficiently. I'll also mention uh, our BRS solution. So we've had our BRS for saleable returns widely adopted since 2019. We'll have the enhanced BRS solution also. We've done some testing uh, with partners for interoperability, which has been successful, which we're excited about. Um, and we've also launched our uh, partnership, which will allow us to have an authorized trading partner solution. So a lot of uh, exciting things coming up that we're, we're ready to talk to our customers about. In an environment where companies have multiple solutions or they may consider moving to a single vendor, why should they switch to Systec? We've been deploying aggregation solutions since the very beginning. Um, so that's allowed us to really take a lot of learnings in and perfect the solution. We have hundreds of implementation modules that document step-by-step step how to build a configurable solution for your business application. And we also have a single pane of glass visibility into your supply chain operations, so really provides that end-to-end -end transparency that's needed. So say in five years from now, where do you see serialization and the pharma supply chain? Serialization is definitely not the end game for safe medicine. And I think the organizations that are really leveraging the data to unlock new potential for building a resilient supply chain and combating disruptions in the supply chain are the ones that will win.